Hey everybody, welcome back to Jersey Boys Outdoors. This is our July 22nd fishing report for the Great Bay, brought to you by the Great Bay Marina. Uh, their boat ramp is open from 5 to 6, cost is $15, and they got all your bait and tackle needs for fishing out in the salt. Yep, all right guys, so uh, looks like the flounder are still on fire. We got Jose Lopez here, reached out to us through email. Uh, he was fishing off uh, the sod banks near Brigantine. He was able to bring in uh, eight flounder, uh, including these two nice keepers, one at 24 inches and the other one at 26. So two giants caught there by Jose. Um, Brian Oldschmidt we reached out to us through email as well. Uh, he sent us a picture of uh, Jamie Col uh, Covella uh, with her first keeper of the year. Uh, it was caught near the clam stakes in the Great Bay using squid and minnow combo uh, he said that the four inch gulp was also working but uh the squid and uh minnow combo was the one that got done uh fred may sent us this picture here on instagram uh him and his friend ronnie were out fishing their buoy marker 132 uh using a white bucktail with white gulp and a minnow teaser uh they said they caught um about a dozen shorts also so 132 seems like it, it can be a hot spot now obviously Fishing is fishing, and it varies day by day, but 132 seems to be getting done uh, more often than not. Uh, if you're watching last week's video, uh, you see that Tommy Venom lost the biggest fish of his life. Well, he was able to get out there and even the score this week. Uh, he was able to pull in this four-pound, 25-inch beauty using a uh, one-ounce uh, white big-eyed s and bucktail with a chartreuse gulp and a minnow. Uh, so congrats to Tommy on uh, getting even with that fish and, and being able to pull in a nice one. Uh, Ed was out with his crew. Uh, they were able to catch a four-man limit out, out at Garden State South last Friday, so a ton of flounder there. Uh, John Sparrow and his wife were also out, and they were able to catch these two nice keepers last week. All right, and Carl Chen, he was out at the Barnegat Reef. Uh, they caught several shorts and a lot of sea robins, but his friend's uh, daughter, Allie, she pulled in this nice 20, 20 half inch keeper. He said the waves were rough, but it was a, it was a good day on the water. Peter James and his son were fishing off the shore at Seaside Park. They landed eight total fish, three keepers, and one of them was this uh, this 23-inch tank that his son pulled in. Nice fish. Anthony Taylor, he was fishing um, Summers Point. He pulled in this one, and it was just big enough to keep, but uh, that's all that really matters. So that's right. he had a good day then. And then Charles uh, Devers was out fishing. He landed these two really nice keepers. Uh, Austin uh, Gubby was uh, fishing last Sunday. He was actually out fishing by 132. Yeah, it's, it's and, um, to be, it seems like. Well, this wasn't for him. He caught nothing. Uh, <laughs> the, the <drift. laughs> Never mind. Yeah, the, the uh, drift wasn't uh, right, and he sorry, was having Charles. a rough night. So he uh, he moved to his other spot near the fish factory, and that's when the bite really, uh, really turned on for him. He caught a 25 throwbacks and two nice keepers here. So uh, it turned out to be a good night, even though one, uh, 132 wasn't producing. <laughs> Castielmo was uh, out by the uh, the stink house, and he pulled in these three uh, these three nice keepers on a chartreuse uh, gulp. And uh, Bayside Dave uh, was at Beach Haven on Sunday using a high low rig six uh, zero hooks with a five inch white swim swimming mullet and a pink shine gulp, and he landed this one uh, nice twenty one inch keeper here. Uh, Thomas Boyce was just north of the Barnegat Inlet in seven feet of water, and he got into a mess of blowfish. Uh, he said he was actually chumming for these using uh, rabbit feed pellets. Uh, I never heard of this, but uh, after either. seeing his results, I'm uh, going to have to give it a try. Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tip for the memory bank there for sure. A uh, lot nicer to use and cleaner to use than a whole bunch of shredded up fish. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, going offshore now, uh, we got our first mahi-mahi of our report here. Uh, Andre Costi, his his dad Dimitri, and brother Ivan were able to pull in this beautiful mahi mahi yesterday. Uh, man, I tell you, that is a gorgeous and very cool looking fish. Absolutely beautiful, very cool. Uh, then we have Mike Pritch and Mike Hart, along with uh, uh, Mike Hart's son, uh, were able to go out and catch some tuna. Uh, and it looks like on the way back, Mike Hart got just a little hungry and decided to take a bite of that tuna. Uh, but very cool there. Some uh, some nice fish. Uh, and also, if you guys haven't yet, go and check out our clamming video we put up uh, a couple days ago. I will put a link above here and a link also in the description below. Uh, we had a lot of fun out there with our boys, and uh, we appreciate you guys going to check it out. All right. And the tides this weekend are uh, setting up nice. We got Friday, 8.33 a.m. and 8.55 p.m. Saturday is 9.26 a.m. and 9.45 p.m. Sunday is 10.17 a.m. and 10.35 p.m. 
Guys, and the weather is looking beautiful. Uh, we got a highs in the mid 80s, partly cloudy with a nice breeze. It's going to be a great weekend to be on the water. So if you're able to get out there, uh, let us know how you do. Send us those pictures, and uh, thanks for watching. Good luck, everybody.